Here's a simple representation of a connection between walls and a flat roof with uh, simplified layers uh, for easy recognition and representation. And what I would like to show you this with this is with the, in the software, you actually have the option uh, to represent uh, layers uh, totally flat and horizontal and decide which layer should be sloped. And from that point on, all the rest of the layers will be uh, automatically aligned to that slope. So here we go. This is how it happens. As you may, a few of you maybe already knows that you can easily uh, slant, easily uh, add a slope to an existing um, roof or an existing uh, slab like this by simply clicking on it and selecting the proper option, which is the modify inclination. You have two options and I would like to use the by reference line now. With this one, I will add a slope uh, and an edge uh, from, from which I would like to uh, define the slope. And as you can see, there's a tiny arrow pointing to the right. And now I'm aligning this here. So this way, I'm telling the software, okay, the slope direction is that, and it should be a positive inclining and or a negative declining value. And now I would like to use a minus 1.5 uh, uh, degree. So when I hit OK, the software will automatically uh, add this slope uh, to the structure. But actually, this is not what I wanted. Uh, what I want is I would like to use this slope, uh, this inclination only to a specific layer, which should be this one here, because from uh, the top of this layer should be sloped and this should be aligned, but the rest, uh, the, the structure itself, the concrete structure should be completely horizontal. So this is something that you can uh, do if you go to the settings of this uh, multi-layered slab and you go to the slab layers option. And here you have the option to define which, which, which layer should have the variable thick, uh, thickness. So if I'm en enabling this, as you can see, the software is automatically uh, changing the slope of the top layer because now number four is selected for the variable thickness. Now this means uh, that inclination that I have defined, this 1.5 minus 1.5 is only applied to the very top of the structure and none the rest. So if I would like to apply this to the top of the, uh, the thermal insulation uh, layer, which is the correct one in my case, then all I need to do is just to check the numbering of the layers. And so this is number three, layer number three. So I would like to change this to be uh, the variable thickness layer. And as you can see now, this layer has a flat bottom and the slope top and the following layer with the pebbles is automatically uh, aligned with, this, with that slope nicely with the, with, the, with the regular thickness. So this is how easily you can define which specific layer should receive the slope, the inclination that you have defined, which you can freely, of course, later change uh, if you would like to customize that. And if you hit OK, uh, let me just quickly update this specific uh, cut that I have made. So as you can see, it's a very simple example. And what I did, I just clicked here and used the Create Cutaway uh, 3D view to have this spectacular 3D uh, section. So this easily, as you can see, you can define uh, a slope to one specific layer. You can even define which layer should receive that slope and the rest will be automatically uh, created and generated uh, by the software in the 3D and also, of course, in the uh, sections.